Ladies and gentlemen, we are so, so close. If we take a look here. Another gunsmith. Got max level, everything unlocked. Almost all camouflages unlocked, except we need 411 headshots. That's what we're here, we're here to do today. We are going to be unlocking the Plague Diamond Camo for shotguns. More importantly, the Plague Diamond Camo for this boss 12. Haven't touched multiplayer yet. That's probably going to be the next project. We'll see if I do any recording of that. Uh, my multiplayer gameplay is very lackluster. I don't do well with people. But... We'll jump that hurdle when the time comes. In the meantime, we are here to get 411 headshots on things that have already lost their head. And we're going to do it in style. Welcome back, Strike Team. Thank you. Time to go to work. Field Ops, a Dark Ether Specimen Analyzer Station has gone dark. Can you check in on them? My team will handle this, Gray. We'll report in when we reach the site. Oh, Slide on my end. Should have heard me. I don't know why they didn't. You have a head. I'm not interested. That's embarrassing. One less zombie. Your deaths will not be the last.
Dead meat. What do we got so far? 32? Alright, not bad. Special event is the horde. Um, I know that would prove fatal. Alright, so. Game plan right now. Uh, speed cola. By the end of... Upstairs? Yeah. So before warping, I want to have both Speed Cola and Pack a Punch one, which is very easy to get. Like I'm already practically at Pack a Punch one. I could get it if I wanted to, but I'm still in a one-shot headshot kill range, just at you know, wait level one. And for the dogs, I don't even have to shoot them to do to be a one-shot kill potential. So, pa the extra damage from Pack a Punch is not something I'm completely worried about right now. Zombie threat deleted. But if you can see, like, I'm already at three shots. That took seven seconds to reload the nine extra shots. So if I could do something to speed up that process, i.e. the speed cola, that would just be a major benefit. More so than just extra damage right now. It makes it pretty much guarantees that I won't be caught out of a bad situation, even if I am in a bad situation. Explosion radius on these dogs is weird. Your numbers mean little. Double points. Yeah, we'll try and go up here. See if we can take advantage of the double points. Not particularly. Another thing about getting the speed cola before pack a punching is that when you pack a punch, you just refill all your ammo. No rest 
I don't need all the extra ammo right off the bat. Because of how much I actually do have. Because the way that this game measures shotgun shells is absolutely fantastic. Definitely in the favor of the player. So, uh, might as well take advantage of that. Wow, I already got 79. What, I need to be 82 for it to be halfway? Like a wet night through sausage. Where's he going? <laughs> Just taking the scenic route, I guess. Uh, where is the vending machine? Not gonna get that right away. Pack a bunch is still too important. go ahead and do that now after I take out this group Upstairs, really? Sorry. Probably should aim that properly. I love how they don't even try and open the door, they just walk right through it. They try to make these zombies appear more intimidating as if they were actually stronger. So strong that they could just walk through a door. Instead of actually opening it and walking through the archway like a normal human being. But it just looks more comical than anything else. Fight no more. Flesh eater fragged. That's good. That's fine. I've seen him somewhere before.
could do You know, I'm just gonna go down here and run the map. I know it's gonna be relatively boring. Just sitting in the same environment the entire time. But I do believe, without a questionable doubt, it cannot be as boring as me staying silent in order to focus for the entire time. That's gonna be my next big thing. Like, as I work to improve, I, I've looked through what I do actually record and put on the internet. The gameplay itself isn't actually that bad. And as far as the video, the visuals go, the visuals are great. Like, the, the recording is crisp. Uh, everything can be rendered in high definition and viewed in high definition. So that's fine. I uh, do have to work on audio issues. Eventually, I think... I don't know, I, I kind of like... I, I guess I can't really say that I like doing this live gameplay commentary. Maybe I will as I get better at it. In the meantime, it's no, something I absolutely need to practice. But to kind of alleviate some of the problems that I have with my overall video quality, like my overall content quality, I should say, video is fine. Uh, I should look into doing... Um, not live commentary, uh, post-recording commentary, and just talking over what gameplay footage I have. Because uh, that way, you know, I can think about a topic, I can focus on talking and forming coherent sentences as opposed to having to focus on whatever gameplay objective I'm doing within a moment. Like, right now, I'm absolutely going out of my way to try and get these headshots. And my accuracy for these is actually pretty good. Like, I don't know exactly how long I've been recording, but I'm already at 132 headshots out of 411. So, <clears throat> you know, as I missed two shots in a row. Uh, but I've consistently been getting a fair amount of headshots. Uh, cutting me a little bit of slack because you can't get headshots on dogs out of 182 kills that I have 137 of them have been headshots. So I would say that overall my accuracy for what I'm trying to do is pretty good. I am effectively accomplishing the goal that I set for myself at the very beginning. That being said, the process of which I am doing so as it is unfolding in front of you is not entertaining. I fully acknowledge that. So... I know that's the proof fake. Flesh eater fragged. Yeah, what I'm getting at is, I think in order to be, you know, if I wanted to be the route of an effective content creator, which I'm still experimenting with, still deciding if that's the route I want to head down. I would need to do post-recording commentary, not live recording commentary. Or uh, po post-gameplay commentary, not live gameplay commentary. I think that's a better way of putting it.
one less zombie. There's no chests around here. Probably in the farmhouse directly. Yeah, okay. Small chest, but a chest nonetheless. So it's halfway to this, 206. Dead meat. I refuse to submit. Feel just like they're all at. Yeah, alright. Nice. What? How did I miss that? It's terrible. End my ground. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think I'll be here. Alright. Hello. Learn from your betters.
to the grave with you. Many have fallen. Game sloppy. Yes. Transfer confirmed. Appreciate the effort, strike team. Cheers. Well, I don't know if I have enough blue material to build an actual self revive kit. That was definitely my fault, though, for pretty much not playing the objective. 
I was too set on getting these headshots. You know, I'll stick around for a little bit more. There's still groups up here. See, I stand my ground. Dead and mute. So far, so good. Oh, we'll come back for that in a second. One less off. You are all weak. Oh my gosh. They're flagged. I'm gonna say that wraps it up for this level. Let's go somewhere a little bit more populated. Yeah.
Ooh. Ah, right. <laughs> Got excited for a moment. Hopefully we get to Alpine. Dang it. Sure kept my mouth shut. Oh well. Yeah, I think I'd roll through your maps, Alpine's probably my favorite. I don't know why. Weaver, satellite shows a dark ether power node in your AO. My team's on it, Carver. Consider it done. Zombie threat deleted. <laughs> Your numbers mean little. Oh, sloppy. Your deaths will not be the last. No head, no problem. I'm gonna guess there's a fairly sized boat loop up this way. On that enemy down.
Learn from your betters. Is that a hundred? No. Ninety. Ninety more to go. All right. Supposedly a decently sized group over here. Also up here. Tag us one first since it doesn't have any dogs. Cheater Fred. It wasn't perfect, but I definitely got the job done. One left on me. Even know, is it possible to headshot a Tempest?
things down over here. Where's the boot camp? To the grave with you. Here's the silo station. At least that's what I call it. It's probably a incorrect name for sure, but. in peace. We're getting to it. down. I refuse to submit. Zombie threat deleted. Alright, 
game plan is... First... Okay, boot camp's over here. There should be a lot at the boot camp. Okay, this here is perfect. Five more. Let's get him. Four. Three. Man. Two. One. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, so. Now they have a little bit of breathing room. Uh, what I am going to do is I don't think I have enough for two. Yeah, I don't have enough for two or three armor. So I know it's going to be a long haul, but I'm going to go back, get pack punch level two. So that way, both the uh, holdout and the exfil are going to be a breeze. But at that point, we got everything we set out to do. So. I will call that a success. And where to pack a bunch? On that enemy down. And you know what? Since I'm not worried about headshots anymore. The uh, electric mod, I, I think the electric mod is the best ammo mod so far. Uh, the explosive ammo is really nice. That might be a, personally a close second. But the thing is, so like the explosive deals extra damage to armor, so that falls into the damage category. Uh, the napalm one deals burning damage for quite a significant portion of their direct health, uh, but that falls into the damage core category. The brain rot uh, turns an enemy against you, so not only are you incapacitating one enemy, but it deals slightly. It, it technically deals damage to the rest of the horde, but because the purpose of the shot is to incapacitate one enemy and to provide support for yourself, I would classify that under the crowd control. Uh, excuse me, sir, I'm talking. Thank you. I would put that under the crowd control category, and the uh, frozen ammo mod slows enemies, and I think enemies who are slow take extra damage. I could be wrong about that. But 
because the purpose of it is slowing, I put that more under the crowd control category. So, ammo mods seem to do either crowd control or just additional straight up damage. Uh, the electric mod does both. That crystal is accelerating the ethereum infestation of this region. Blow it back to hell. Because I think elite enemies specifically take extra damage from electric. I know that normal enemies take take extra damage from fire, pretty much exclusively fire, and the armored enemies. Obviously, they take extra damage from explosive and ammo, but I think the way the meta worked is if armored enemies, especially the heavy armored enemies, were giving you trouble, you would throw that. You would hit them with the uh, frozen ammo, and. I would do wonders for you. Electric is especially useful in if you're playing traditional zombies. Uh, you know, with the unlocking doors on the maps and waves and everything like that, then electric is especially oh, electric is especially useful for large crowds. Seems like they're keeping things pretty tame right now, so not have to worry about extra crowds. But to the grave with you. Nailed it.
Alright. Now in true good old spaz attack fashion. English is hard sometimes. Especially after you've been speaking it all day for work. In good old true spaz attack fashion, we are going to end this with a successful exfil. And I say successful because I predict the future. Perfect. That's fine. Don't need that. Can't do that. I can't do both, can I? No, I'm not going to mess this up. All right. Strike team to Weaver. We are ready to return to base. That's fine. Juggernaut in tier three armor is. Uh... Oh, hold on. Raptor one inbound. Get to the LZ. Where am I going? Where am I actually going? Oh, okay. There. Enemy down. Semtex out. <laughs> Semtex thrown. That's a wrap. Good work, team. Every successful op gets us one over Omega. Well, I guess that's a good sign to call it quits there. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And this is absolutely not the end.
the whole point of going through spaz attack was you know to upgrade the weapon get it basically maxed out and considering the weapons attachments and aesthetics that I have gone for this is the one I want right I guess we'll find out uh, once everything loads um, even though that part of it is finished the ultimate goal of it was to basically show and take down a video recording uh, like a video archive of me getting my ideal class setup for zombies if I ever do continue this in the future and you can bet that you know if that's what we set out to do that's what we absolutely did and really the only way to go forward is up so next time on spaz attack that's exactly what we'll be doing but until then goodbye for now